Hello everyone. So welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be making a lightning arrow in Minecraft with the use of JavaScript. So I'm going to show you what this project looks like. Let's begin. So right over here, I am in my Minecraft world and I have a bunch of arrows. I have 64 arrows and I have a bow. So this is in creative mode. So once I loaded the mod, I can just point the arrow lightning has been fired so this is what the mod is going to look like let's start by coding this mod. first we open sublime text next we'd like to click on file and save as and then remember we're going to put this in our spigot.mc folder so you can click on spigot.mc as you scroll down you'll see scriptcraft as you scroll into scriptcraft you'll see plugins so we are going to save our file over here Call, I'm going to call this lightning arrow. So L I G H T N I N G and then capital A R R O W dot J S and then click on save. So this is now saved as a JavaScript file. And to see that we can just head over here to our speak.mc folder. And then you can head on to our script craft folder plugins and then you'll see it right over here lightning arrow so now let's begin coding first we'll start by writing exports exports dot light ning arrow and then we'll put a equal and then a function so there, we've created a function and we've written lightning arrow. Next, we wanna create a function called strike. So we'll write function strike. And here we're gonna add like a parameter called event as something's gonna happen. So we put event and then we add in our curly brackets here. Can hit enter to make a space. The next thing we'd like to do is we want to make a variable called projectile. And what this is used for is going to get the item that we're going to use to shoot as a projectile. So we're going to type in var to declare a variable and type in projectile. So we have this here, projectile, and then we'll give it a value. Put event dot get entity and then this and a semicolon. So make sure you periodically save your work. If you're on Windows, you can press Control S. If you're on Mac, you can press Command S. Next, we'd like to create another variable. So this is called shooter. And this is referring to us. So we're going to type in projectile dot get shooter. The next part we'd like to do is we want to make a variable for our world, basically the environment around us. So we're going to call this var world equals projectile dot get world. And we save this. So what we've done so far, we've created three variables. One is projectile, one is for the shooter, and one is for the world. Projectile is what we're going to use to shoot. Shooter is referring to us, the player, and then world is sort of referring to that environment. Next, we're going to add in a conditional. So you can make a space and put in a if as an if statement. So we're now going to give these values too. So we'll type in projectile here. And then we'll use a equal equal. And now we want to specify what is the projectile. That projectile that we're going to use is a craft arrow. So we'll type in craft arrow. And then we'll put a and and. So here we want to give the shooter a name, right? We wanted to know who is the person shooting this bow and arrow. Uh, arrow. So what we're doing now is we're going to give the shooter a name and we're going to give this shooter a name, which is our Minecraft name. So we'll type in shooter.name and 
then equal equal self dot name. So self dot name is referring to our Minecraft name. Then we can put in this bracket and then make sure we have this here. Then under this, we're going to write in projectile remove. The reason we're writing this is after we've shot it, we want this ad to disappear after it's hit a target. And then under this, we want to say that we want a lightning to be striked. So to add that, we put in the world dot strike lightning, and then put a bracket here. So in here, what we're going to add is projectile dot location. And that is where the arrow lands. So we'll type in projectile dot location. Then we'll add it with this semicolon. So, so far we have added these parts. So the last remaining part that we have to add is over here. So here, the next thing we're gonna write is events dot projectile hit bracket strike. Just save it. So, so far, this is our code and we've completed it. So congratulations, you have made your strike lightning mod with JavaScript. So what we have done here, we've said that if the craft arrow is being used as a projectile and the shooter is us, when it lands on a specific area where we shoot it, we want this arrow to be removed and then cause lightning. And then when it's hit, we want it to run a strike parameter, which is this lightning over here. And this function is referring to this. So that's our mod. So now we're gonna test it out. The first thing we need to do is we need to launch our Minecraft and head into the server. So first we type in cd desktop slash spigot mc. So this in the terminal allows us to head into the spigot mc folder. And to access the terminal, you can just press command space and type in the terminal. And then you can access this. So now we're going to look at how we can open our mod and test it out in Minecraft using the custom server that we have. So first, we're going to head to the terminal. Command space on your computer. You type in terminal and you press enter. Next, when this window opens, we can type in CD and then desktop. So CD is the short form of change directory. We'd like to go inside the desktop and you can put a slash and type in spigot mc. So once you're there, it says here spigot.mc and then your username. So the next part is we now want to run our server. So we put in this command, java space dash jar space spigot dash one dot ten dot two dot jar. This will help us start our server. So you can press enter and it'll start loading the libraries and the rest of the items as it runs. So you have to give it a bit of time and once it starts loading, we can test it out after it's done. As it's done loading, we now can open our Minecraft over here. So when you open Minecraft, please do remember that we'll be using the version 1.10.2. If you wanna change your version, you can click on installations here, click on new, give it any name you like, and then just change the version from here and then click on create. And that's how you can get to the older version. If you have everything set up, you can click on play and then click on play once again. And Minecraft should boot up. So as the server is open, what we need to do next is add in our IP address. So once this opens up, you can click on multiplayer and I'll remove this and I'll show you how to add in your own server. So once you're here, you click on add server. You can give this a name, MC3 server. And then here for server address, generally we'd recommend you to put in your IP address, but here you can just type in local host. Press done and then double click this. So now we're going into our server and then you can see this over here, it's loading. 
once you're here, you will see that your world is loaded. And for example, if you don't have any items, so I'll show you if it's blank, you can actually give yourself items. So first I would suggest slash game mode C to be in creative. Then once again, you press slash, you can use give at P. P is referring to the, you as a player. Then you can press tab and it shows Minecraft. Then you want arrows, you type A R R. Then it will show, press tab again. It'll complete the wording. Press space and you put in a number. So you can put 64. It gives us 64 arrows. Next, we can put slash give at P. Then tab once again. B, W, and then we just put one, and we're given one bow. So now that this is there, we want to run our mod. So first, we want to refresh the server, slash js refresh, then slash js light, name, arrow, and then brackets. And press enter. Once that happens, we're locked your mod is already loaded. Once it happens, your mod is already loaded. Then just aim anywhere like this. So I hope you guys had fun making that lightning arrow mod with JavaScript and testing it out in Minecraft. For more fun tutorials like this, please make sure to like, Share and subscribe to First Code Academy on YouTube for more fun film tutorials. Thank you. Bye bye.